Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I am in Seoul, South Korea. And for this trip to Korea, it's just me and my wife, Ying, and we rented a very small little, actually it's not that small, but a studio apartment in Seoul near to Dangdaemun, which is a pretty good central area. So in this video, I am going to walk you through our apartment, give you an entire walkthrough tour, show you what it's like a little bit to live in Seoul, and maybe just walk through, wow, it's really windy today, but the weather is perfect. Um, and then after we go on a full tour, maybe we'll go have coffee, but let's, let's walk to the apartment first. Now wind. Yeah, one of the great things about living in Seoul, about staying in Seoul, is just the convenience of the city. There's little supermarkets, convenience stores, restaurants, bars. There's like everything you could want, you could need within like a one minute walking radius. Right on this side, on the right hand side, on your way from the metro, from the subway, you can stop. There's a whole supermarket. It's a full supermarket in there. They even have some stuff out on the sidewalk. And then keep on going and you get right, right next to the, the little supermarket is a fruit shop fruits and vegetables so you can come see here these are some of the specials of the day there's some oranges there's some bananas oh and this is a great ingredient in Korea the the giant no these are spring onions what are these King the are these like giant spring <laughs> okay in Thai they're called giant green onions I think they are I giant green onions. okay cool so yeah, the convenience, you can buy everything right next to the apartment. We have arrived to our apartment building. Let's go inside. Yeah, that wind. I hope the audio is okay. All right, elevator. Okay, it's kind of squeaking, but otherwise this elevator is so quiet. You barely know it's even going up. Listen. It's kind of squeaky today though. I don't think it was squeaky yesterday. Wind? Well, oh, maybe the wind is like coming through the, the elevator p interiors. We are on the 23rd floor. Okay, we have arrived. And then one of the things, because we are on the 23rd floor, we don't have that great of a view from our room, like they pointed the window in the wrong direction. Well, in, in the direction, but there is a nice view from the hallway. Yeah, that's a pretty cool view from the 23rd floor. But this view is from the hallway, unfortunately, not from our room. You'll see that I'll show you the view from our room too. Okay, let's go inside the room. Only Ying knows the code. <laughs> I can't remember that many. All right, thank you, Ying. Welcome to our apartment. It's always good to have a a wife like Ying who has much better memory than you. I can never remember that code, but it's keypad entry access, which makes it very convenient. No keys. This is a studio apartment. And for this trip, just Ying and I uh, are on this trip to Seoul because it's a quick trip. And we left Micah, our son, with grandma back in Bangkok, back at home in Thailand. Uh, so this is just a quick trip. And we got a studio apartment, so it's just one room, but I guess for, for one room, it's pretty spacious. It's pretty big. It even has two beds, a sofa, um, a full, well, a mini kitchen and one bathroom. Uh, but it's definitely plenty spacious for one or two. And this would definitely be a, a very common type of studio in Seoul. Let's start over on this side. Oh, hello. Um, over here, this is the kitchen, but there happens to be, I guess this is actually the dinner, the, the kitchen table, the, the dining room table. You could use this as the dining room table, even though it's more like a window from the, the kitchen to the bedroom. But they do have some stools here you can eat right here. It's kind of cool. It makes good use of space. But this is the kitchen over here. It's a small kitchen, but it's a full kitchen. Uh, I have the sink here. There's a water kettle, there's a rice cooker, there's a microwave, a stove, two burners, and then below here they even have a, a washing machine. Oh, it's a fully functioning kitchen, but I don't think you'd want to be in here with more than one, more than by yourself, uh, because it definitely would get a little cramped. And then over back here, which they've kind of built into the whole closet system, is the fridge. 
We've got some pineapple, some strawberries, a variety of different, um, oh, this is Ying's Coke. And I tried some of this soju. And then I haven't even looked down here, but this is, this is kind of a weird, sometimes it doesn't close all the way. And then down here is the, the freezer. I haven't even looked in here. Yes, it is. And then right off of the kitchen, this is the, the single bathroom of the whole apartment. Uh, toilet, which has a Korean toilet seat, uh, which is warmed, which has the spray, which has the massage option. No, not really, but definitely the spray and the warm toilet seat is just, it's an absolute joy of life. Uh, sink is here and then the shower shower it has kind of like some some interesting knobs that I haven't figured out what they do but but the shower is okay and then you yeah, know just a pretty normal typical bathroom come on out into the main room this is the bedroom the living room the basically everything room the the space where you're gonna spend most of your time hanging out um, and of course sleeping but yeah, there's space for two beds, so if you didn't have two beds in here, you'd have other space for maybe a little office or a little desk or, or something. Normally, I like to do a, a bit of a, uh, especially at hotels, I like to jump into the bed to, to get the full bed test, but this is a slow sit down. Oh, no, not bad at all, uh, but it's definitely not the type of bed you wanna jump on or you'd bottom out very quickly. Okay. Okay, and then on this side, it's a pretty, pretty long sofa. Oh, this sofa definitely has the bucket seat going style. You kind of sink in. And then I've been setting up my computer here on the coffee table, hard drives, downloading photos, downloading videos, sometimes sitting like this on the, but I haven't been doing like serious, serious, serious video editing. So I, there's not really, a, okay, there is a little bit of a desk, but not, not a serious desk. Ah, okay. And Remember how I told you that the view wasn't quite as good from our window here? Here's the view from our window. It's of the other buildings here. I mean, if you look down that way, you can get a little view. And if you look down this way or right out the window, it's quite a ways down there. The main big windows don't open, but what's nice is these little windows open. And because of the breeze, it does come through. So if you open that window, a lot of, a lot of good fresh air comes in. And then I think I forgot to show you the TV. TV is here, which we haven't turned on and probably won't. And then what else? Did we miss anything? I think we've completed the tour of this studio apartment in Seoul, living in Seoul. So let's go down downstairs. Let's go to a coffee shop. There's a coffee shop right across the street that I haven't been to yet, but I want to try it. Let's go now. Oh, I know what I completely forgot to do. I should have taken off my shoes and put on these Okay, let's just wear them just for a few shots. A few extra shots in the house. These are definitely comfortable Korean house sandals. And I love the, love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Okay, now we can go for the coffee. Okay, coffee shop is across the street. I guess we'll cross over here at the crosswalk. Wow, it is still so windy today. Ying's hair is going all over the place. <laughs> oh. Wow, that wind is strong today. Oh. The trees. the main road turn to your right hand side and it's kind of down this little parking whoa that building is definitely on a on a slant the leaning tower and then the coffee shop is down there we go inside oh yeah it is a uh, open and functioning <laughs> very kind of hidden and chilled out okay I got an Americano 3000 won, hot Americano. Maybe sit outside actually. Enjoy that wind. 
outside? Yeah, I think we'll go outside. Press the button. One more time. Oh, I can smell that cinnamon on your cappuccino, Ying. Where do you want to sit? Over here? Okay, now this is good, it's kind of a patio, actually a very nice patio area. In the parking lot. I like this coffee shop. Think up. Oh, thank you. Hololak coffee. Always fresh, always hot. A little bit, no, not too weak, a little bit weak, but overall okay. Pretty good. And I'm liking this patio here, kind of hidden away from the main street. And even though we're really close to the main street, but just hidden away, tucked away. The weather right now is just perfect for sitting around on patios, drinking coffee. Coffee is a little bit weak. Could be a bit stronger. I would be happy with that. <laughs> it says on the cup, always hot. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video showing you our apartment. We just rented for a few days and we paid exactly $65 per night uh, for two of us, which is, it's a lot more affordable, definitely for short term than staying in a hotel. Hotels can be pretty expensive in Seoul, so uh, renting an apartment is a good option, staying in a local area, surrounding in the neighborhood, um, but this is actually in a very, very good location, very close to Dongdaemun, uh, so I'll have some information in the description box, and I wanna say a big thank you for watching. On Mark Abroad, I'm gonna be publishing more travel reviews, more accommodation hotel reviews, airplane reviews, travel tips, so subscribe for lots more travel videos. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Seoul. See you on the next video.